Hey, we're doing a quick overview here of the new release uh, called Embossed. And we're going to take a look at some of the options in here, how to change uh, a couple of the elements, and just to see what we can do with this. Uh, most of this is um, pretty in line uh, with what's typical with what I would put out there. But there are a couple possible gotchas for maybe some that are newer or just inexperienced with a couple of uh, smart object type things and stuff. So we're going to talk about that. But let's just go through the layers here take a look at what we're dealing with. Now on this design uh, I have included um, options to do kind of a dark version and a light version and you'll see those named in the layer stack here. Uh, so for instance the banner on the bottom if we wanted the light banner we could turn that one on and we just come down here and match everything up. So we want uh, this text to be the light text. We'll turn that one on and this one off and turn that light one on and this dark one off and then turn our light background on. Now we kind of have like uh, this light uh, type of styling here. And so if we want dark, we just switch this all back very simply. Okay, just like that. So that's how easy it is to switch between the, the dark and the light version. Uh, so as we come through the layer stack, we'll take a, a look at these individual groups and things uh, more closely in just a minute, but let's just do an, an overview here. Uh, so we have our facial highlight boost. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, we have our subject group here. A couple layers to either darken or lighten uh, kind of the bottom section of the subject there just a little bit. Uh, we have some light smoke and kind of fog to give some atmosphere in behind our subject. A couple lighting adjustment layers. We can see if we turn those on and off, they just create a little bit more dimension there. Uh, and there's some text ones. We'll take a look at those that we just turned on and off. We have our background group. Again, we'll take a look at that in just a second as well. Some more text. And then here's our lines up here. And we have some color adjustment here with hue saturation. Again, we can just pick our HSL layer. And we can come up here and tweak our hue, our saturation, our lightness, all those things to get the specific color that we want to match. Okay, so let's reset that back to red. And let's take a closer look at some of these groups. Um, so the first one, let's look at our background group right here. So in here I've included uh, 12 uh, kind of painted style type backgrounds. Uh, and they're for kind of basic sport options here. So there's a like a basic football, a soccer, hockey, swim, baseball, like a weight room here, a locker room, tennis, basketball, a golf course, an archery option, and a beach volleyball. So again, these are just what's included by default, but now you could also drop in your own backgrounds uh, very simply here. We'll take a look at that again also in a minute. And so let's take a look now at some of the text options in here and how we're going to make these adjustments. So for instance, you're going to see our option right here. Uh, this is the dark option for the top embossed background text. So if we turn this off and on, we can see it's talking about these lines of text up here. Now these are set up as smart objects, so we just need to edit one line and it'll update all of the other lines. So what we're going to do is expand this group. And we're going to see all the lines of text are in here. You know, those could be individually turned on and off or moved around as needed. But if we want to update this text, and if we want the text all, you know, it's, it's going to be set to all say the same thing. So what we're going to do is edit this green layer right here, and it tells you edit this smart object. And the way we do that is just by double clicking on the smart object thumbnail right here. So we're going to double click. It's going to open up a new document that has our text in it. And so it's just regular text. So we could double click on this uh, and we could change it. Maybe want it to say, uh, let's see, Dragon's Football. And so what you could do is I would just put it in here three or four times. So let's do a selection here and paste and paste. Okay, that'll be fine. Now the one thing we want to watch for is we don't want the uh, text to run out of the canvas like this. So once you get about two-thirds of the way across with text, you should be good to go. So actually, I'm just going to run about this far. I'm going to click the check mark to apply it. And then when I close this document, it's going to ask if I want to save. I'm going to say yes. And then when I save, it's going to update all of these lines of text. Okay, so as long as you're, again, if we take a look in here in the smart object, as long as you're about two-thirds of the way across uh, this canvas, then you should be good to save that and everything should wrap as expected. Okay, and so that's going to work for 
with exactly the same way in any of these embossed text groups. So the same for the, the light option here, um, or even for the bottom. So this is that bottom text down here. I just have a year in here. Uh, but again, you could expand that and just edit that top of that green layer by double clicking uh, onto that green layer thumbnail. We could double click here to edit the text. And again, we could just make this say anything you wanted it to say. And this one only has to go about halfway across or so, and it should wrap fine down there. So we'll close it, ask us if we, if we want to save. We're going to say yes. And you'll see it just updates that text there as well. Okay, so pretty simple to make those changes. If we jump up here to our banner, which is going to be this layer here, this group I should say, we're going to open this. So we've got a first name in here, just plain text, uh, very easy to change that. And then for the last name, we have this embossed kind of metallic effect attached to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here to our banner text group and expand that one. And now we have the same thing. We've got a couple smart objects that are used to create this style. And we're going to edit just that top one when we want to update that. So again, we'll double click on this layer thumbnail to edit the smart object. Now we could put our, our new last name in. And we'll click the check to apply. We'll close the window. We'll say yes, we want to save it. And then it will automatically update that text. Okay. And so in there, there's our metallic texture applied. So that can be turned on or off if desired. And then we have some hue saturation adjustments clipped to that group to control the color uh, of that last name. Okay. So just like you would make other hue saturation color adjustments. So again, pretty simple to update those. Um, just by modifying those smart objects quickly. And again, that would work the same way for the light banner as well. Okay, so that's how to do the text updates. Let's go ahead and turn a, a subject on here. So we'll turn on our subject. And you're just going to drop your subject in just like any other uh, kind of template design. Um, here's where we have our darkening. So you can see if we turn this on, this just adds some darkening to the lower of the subject here. Or you can turn this one, this one actually lightens up a little bit more. So depending on the look that you're wanting, you could use either one. I'm going to leave the darken on for this one. Okay, that looks good. And if we scroll up to our color grading options, you're going to see in here is typical color grades uh, that I like to apply. But there's an extra one here called a Vibrance Boost, which just adds a little bit of color vibrancy. In here it's... Um, you could turn that flow and change that opacity as needed. I added the, this one because I really like the look of this template um, with my clean grit action applied, which does some desaturation. I'm going to take a look at how I use that in just a second. But I did want to show you that if you wanted to put a custom uh, background in, we could come down here to the background group, and it's just it's as simple as just pulling an image in and dropping it in place. And then we can resize this, you know, so maybe like I've got this aerial shot of their stadium. So maybe I'd want to throw that in and kind of size and align it where we can see the name sticking out there a little bit or something like that. So very easy. You could do a game day image. You could do, you know, anything that you would want to put in there. Um, we could do that and kind of reposition, resize and things like that. All right. So let's say we wanted to go with that image. Let's go up here now. If I wanted to apply my uh, clean, clean grid, I would turn my color grading off. Um, before we do that, let's apply this highlight boost. So again, you've probably seen this if you've used any of my templates or watched any of the videos. I'm just going to take a white brush. Uh, I'm going to use the lighter skin option right here. And I'm just going to paint some of that highlight into his face. So you can see if we turn this on and off, it just kind of brings those facial highlights up a little bit. Gives us that attention onto the subject. So with my color grading off, I'm going to pick our uh, topmost layer here. And let's run this Nick recipe action. Just to give it a little bit of uh, grittiness here. So it'll take just a second for this to run. And there we go. So I like the look of that. Uh, particularly with this design, I like the way it makes all the little details pop out. And so now if I turn my color grade back on... This is really why I added this Vibrancy Boost layer, because if I wanted to bring some of that color back, I could just ramp that up 
and get some of that color saturation back in there that I like. And that's kind of the overall look of this. So hopefully you'll see it's, it's fairly simple and straightforward to use. Um, you can customize it to get a number of different looks. There's some pre-built in uh, background options in there, uh, hopefully to get you started. And I hope you have a ton of success with this one and good luck.